Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. And moving on to another question dealing with expanding and simplifying. So we have to expand and simplify these four expressions here. So notice that these are kind of unique. Here we have larger exponents like exponent three, exponent four. Here we have a full quadratic to the power of two. So not just a binomial expression here. We got three binomials multiplying by each other. So just some different random scenarios that you might run into. So let's start off with part A. We got three X minus four, a binomial to the power of three. So what I'm gonna do is actually rewrite this as three brackets multiplying by each other like that. And the way that I personally do this is I start off by multiplying the first two brackets. So if we do that, we'll have three X times three X, which is nine X squared. Three X times negative four is negative 12 X, negative 12 X, and then plus six, uh, 16 like that. And then we got the three X minus four on the outside. And then we're going to have to multiply this bracket and this bracket. But before doing that, I'm going to simplify. Notice that the negative 12 X minus 12 X, that would be negative 24 X plus 16. And then we got the three X minus four. And now what you want to do is you want to multiply this bracket by this one. You got to make sure all of the terms multiply by each other. So Let's start off by multiplying the 9x squared and then the 3x, that would be what, 27x cubed. Then we have the 9x squared minus the 4, which would give us negative 36x squared. So just be really careful with your algebra here. I'd recommend drawing these arrows out just to make sure that you're covering everything. So then we got negative 24x times 3x which would give us negative 72 X squared. Then we got negative 24 X times negative four, which would give us positive 96 X like that. And even after a couple of steps, you could just make sure everything is looking okay. Be careful with the signs as well. And then moving on to the 16, we got 16 times 3x, which would give us positive 48x. And then we got 16 times negative 4, which would give us negative 64, like that. Right, so that's expanded, but now we got to simplify all of the like terms. So notice that the x cubed, that's by itself, so we got the 27x cubed. And then notice that minus 36x squared minus 72 x squared, that would give us negative 108, uh, yeah, negative 108 x squared. So that, that, that is gone. Then we got the 96 x plus the 48, which would give us what, 144 x, positive 144 x, so those are gone. And then we got the minus 64 at the end. Okay, so this here ends up being the final simplified answer, the expanded and simplified answer for part A. Now moving on to part B, we got three X squared minus five X plus two. So a quadratic in brackets to the power of two. So same thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and rewrite it as two brackets multiplying by each other. So here we have to multiply all of the terms together. So again, one of those questions where you got to be really careful to make sure that you multiply everything throughout. So 3x squared times 3x squared, that's going to give us 9x to the power of 4. Then we'll have 3x squared times negative 5x, which would give us minus 15x cubed. Then 3x squared times 2 would give us 6x squared. Then we'll have negative 5x times 3x squared, which would give us negative 15x cubed, like that. Uh, just give me a sec here. Yes, looks all good to me. So then the negative 5x times the negative 5x would give us positive 25x squared. Then negative 5x times 2 would give us negative 10x like that. And then finally, we just have to take this two 
and distribute it to the bracket, multiply the two by all of this. So we would end up, let me start a new line here, just because I'm running out of room. We'll have two times three x squared, six x squared, two times negative five x is negative 10 x. And then two times two would give us positive four, like that. Okay, so that ends up being the expanded answer. And now we just have to simplify the like terms. So I'm actually gonna just simplify them up here, put the final answer up here. So notice that the nine X to the four, that's by itself. There's no other X to the four over here. Then we got minus 15 X cubed, minus 15 X cubed, then there's no other X cubed. So that would be minus 30 X cubed. So those go away. Then we got six X squared plus 25 X squared, which would give us 31 X squared plus six X squared would give us 37, positive 37 X squared like that. This goes away, this goes away. Then we've got negative 10 X minus 10 X, that would give us negative 20 X. And then we've got the positive four, right? And then notice there are no more like terms remaining. So that ends up being the final expanded answer. Moving on to part C, we already have, there's no exponents here. They're just three different binomials that are multiplying. So let's start off with multiplying the first two over here. So we'll have two X times X, which gives us two X squared. Two X times one gives us two X, negative five X, negative five times one is negative five. Uh, and then we got five X plus one. And then simplifying this bracket over here, Notice these are like terms, that would be minus three X, like that. And then we got the five X plus one over here. And now we can multiply these two brackets. So we'll have two X squared times five X, which would give us 10 X cubed. We have two X squared times one, which gives us two X squared. Then we'll have negative 3x times 5x, which gives us minus 15x squared. Negative 3x times 1 gives us negative 3x. Uh, negative 5 times 5x gives us negative 25x. And then negative 5 times 1 gives us negative 5, like that. So simplifying, let's put the answer up here. We would end up with 10x cubed, right? There's no other x cubed around. Then we'll have 2x squared minus 15x squared, which would give us negative 13x squared. So that goes away. Then we got negative 28x. And then we got minus 5, like that, right? So that right there ends up being the answer for part C. And then finally, part D, we got x minus 3 to the power of four. So what I'm actually gonna do for this one, different ways you could do it, you could write out the four brackets, but I'm actually gonna rewrite this as x minus three to the power of two times x minus three to the power of two. Because notice if we can expand this, that's gonna be the same as that. Then we'll just have two big brackets that are multiplying versus continuously. You can do it the other way if you want, write out the four brackets and then multiply these two, then that bracket multiply with this one, this one multiply with that one. I feel like this way is quicker because you're refining the steps a little bit more because both of these expressions are gonna be the same. So if we take X minus three to the power of two, which is just X minus three times X minus three, we'll have X times X, which is X squared, negative three X, negative three X, and then we'll have plus nine. So this would be x, uh, sorry, x squared minus six x plus nine. So that's what both of these are. So now what we could do is we could rewrite this as x squared minus six x plus nine, x squared minus six x plus nine. And then we could just multiply these two brackets. So I feel like that way is quicker. You can go about it the other way, just whichever way you do it, make sure you're getting the same answer. So here we'll have x squared times x squared, which is x to the four, x squared times negative six x, which would give us negative six x cubed, 
x squared times 9 gives us 9x squared. Negative 6x times uh, x squared would give us negative 6x cubed. Negative 6x times negative 6x would give us positive 36x squared. Negative 6x times 9 would give us negative 54x, like that. And then we got the 9x squared. And we got the negative 54x. Um, then 9 times 9 is 81, like that. And then what would happen is we have to just simplify all of the like terms over here. So notice the x to the 4 by itself. There's no other x to the 4 around. Then we got minus 6x cubed, minus 6x cubed. And then there's no other x cubed, so that would be minus 12x cubed, like that. So those, uh, give me a sec, yes, those go away. Then we got 9x squared plus 36x squared, which would give us 45x squared, plus 9x squared would give us 54x squared, like that. So that, that, that. And then we got negative 54x minus 54x gives us negative 108x. Boom, boom. And then plus the 81. There's no other constant to net out with 81. So that there ends up being the expanded and simplified expression for part D.